Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Michael Brenholt, and in today's video, I want to talk to you today about a tech tip in Insight called Section at Z. But before we begin, please take a moment to click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, let's get started. When you bring a file in that is clearly larger than the envelope, in the case of this L bracket, which is taller than the envelope for the 450 system that we're currently trying to pre-process it in, the first thing to do is to come up and slice the part. Upon slicing the part, it's going to give me a warning telling me that this part extends past those dimensions. Click on the green check mark and say OK. Come up here to the Slice tab and check on the section at Z. Now when it opens this new window over here to the right, Note that I'm not going to go into great detail about all of the options listed here because again, if you come back to the help with current operation, it will open a much more detailed menu about whatever you have opened here on the right. Using the section at Z, keeping it very simple, I will simply click this first drop down and say, yes, just split it in the middle of the part. I will invert the top for processing and I will apply registration features. I'm going to leave these at the default features for now. Uh, it creates a great tongue and groove pattern so that I'm not trying to glue a flat surface to a flat surface. The job names are not critical. I always just leave them in the default setting, but you can change them if you like. Click on OK. Do you want to save before sectioning? Say yes. Upon doing that, it's then going to save the two jobs, split them in half, and invert the top. When this is done, Click on the OK, and upon completion of that, I can then scroll in here and show you that it's created this great little lip across the top of this part that will afford me an opportunity to create a mating surface with the top half when I finish processing that side as well. So scrolling back out, we'll zoom right up here, fit the envelope. After doing that, I would then come back, double arrow back to the main screen. I would create the supports, run a toolpath, and then save the job. Upon completion of that, if you go back up to the file, the next job is going to be the top half of your part. So if I look down at one, that's the one I just saved, the next one listed, number two, is my top. If I click on that, it brings in the top half of the build. And again, I can zoom in on this and show you that here, it's created a channel for that other lip to interlock into, again, creating a great mating surface for these two halves when completed. So with this one, I would then come up here, click on the support generation, run a toolpath, save that job, and just that simply, I have taken a tall part, split it in half, I am able to build both halves, glue them back together so you won't even notice the difference, and away I go with having an option to do this without having to take it into another software program. Okay, I hope that helps give you a little bit of an overview on how to use the Slice section at Z in Insight. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us at GoEngineer.com. Thanks for your time today. Bye.